We were very honoured that the Minister for Culture and the Government of Myanmar consented to our, our request to borrow some in, enormously important objects, uh, first millennium objects uh, belonging to the Pew, early Pew culture of, of central Myanmar and we've presented those here for the first time. The sculpture you're looking at uh, beyond my shoulder is, is um, uh, arguably the oldest ex sculpture in the exhibition. It probably dates to around the 4th century AD um, and it bears witness to um, the practice of both Hinduism and Buddhism, one treated on each side of the relief, um, in the ancient city of Sisestra. We know that the kings, the ruling household there, um, had assumed... Um, Sanskrit names and that those names suggest that they were followers of Vishnu uh, but also it's also clear that they patronized uh, Buddhism as well um, so both things were coexisting in what appears to be in a harmonious way they were not mutually exclusive The exhibition is ambitious, 160 works, the vast majority of which have been borrowed directly from the source countries. Um, we've brought together uh, extraordinary examples of well-documented um, objects, uh, many of them recovered over 100 years ago, um, and which, uh, in the way in which they're presented here, attempt to redefine our understanding of early Southeast Asia, by which I mean Southeast Asia from the 5th to the end of the 8th century.